Salama and welcome to Madagascar, home of the black and white lemurs and the biggest vanilla exporter in the world. Don't forget the cartoon. I like to move it, move it. You yeah, like to move it. I like to... After spending one beautiful day in Antananarivo, the capital, also known as Tana for short, I went to Andasibe Park, which is around a seven hour journey from the city. It's only 200 kilometers, but there are no highways. And imagine, this country is full of rainforests, beautiful lemurs, as you can see, the sifakas, the brown colored lemurs, and the ring-tailed lemurs. Full of exotic wildlife and animals. But hey, let's just jump back a little bit. I'm going ahead of myself. What about the baobab trees? What about the history? Let's go back to Marco Polo. He was the one who actually coined and named Madagascar because it, of an accident, actually. He wanted to go to Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, but instead there was a mispronunciation and he named the island Madagascar. So, which is the fourth largest island in the world. It's around the third poorest country in the world. After spending three wonderful days at the Andasibe National Park, I go back to the city, Antananarivo, and as you can see, I bought a lot of sweets, crackers. Please. Take. take. Please take one, okay? I'm trying to pass okay. them out to children here. Don't forget that the average person here earns around $100 a month. So I'm trying to help every day. Hello. Hello. Trying to help as uh, many please. kids as I can. Please take one. No, one, one, one. Please take one, okay? Yes. Yes, it's for you. No, 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 no. For you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what's your What's your name? Rosa. Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. What's your name? Fifalin. Fifalin. And you? Naruan. Naruan. My name, my name is Peter. My name is Peter. But uh, please open, please open. There are two reasons I visited Madagascar. One of them was to see the wildlife, the beautiful animals, the lemures. And the second reason was to connect with children. There are millions of children that live under two dollars a day and I wanted to help out as much as possible and give food, give clothes to the children here. And I actually met, met with an Argentinian Slovenian priest by the name of uh, per Pedro Opeka. As you can see here, he's 75 years old. I met him personally today on a Sunday mass and it was beautiful. He helps 30,000 families in Antananarivo with an institution called, uh, a foundation actually called the Akamaso, which means sweet friend or, or very beautiful friend. And he's helped thousands of children over the years. He's been living here um, for 30, more than 30 years. He speaks six languages. It was such a beautiful sight just to meet him and to talk to him in person. I'm going to meet him again tomorrow trying to reconnect and try to bring and help with some teachers, some volunteers from Hungary or from Europe that would like to help with children here, help educate children, maybe teach them English or French. So if anyone has any thoughts or anyone can donate or help, would like to help, even just $5 or $10, that would be a huge help in this poor country. I wish you the best, thank you for watching this video, and stay blessed. Bye.